In this video, I want to talk about should you be cold and mean towards your ex-girlfriend if she reaches out to you during no contact. Now, let's get back to the foundations of no contact. The point is for you to recover during this time, learn from the mistakes, heal, and let go of your ex. Now, if she's reaching out and you're mean, you're being angry, then she still has power over you. No contact is meant to break the power and bring it back to your side. If you're mad at her, if you're letting bitterness get in your heart, she is still in the driver's seat. So when you're in this period where you guys aren't talking, you should be getting better. That's the whole point of no contact is to recover and be a better man and level up during this time. Think of it like being fired from your job. You could be bitter towards that company. You could be angry. And in the next set of interviews, you keep talking about them. They're living rent free in your head and you're giving them power. But the person in interview you doesn't like that at all because they want to see your potential and your skills and how you can bring value to the company. So if your ex-girlfriend reaches out, why are you being mean? It doesn't make any sense to me. You see, what is your intention in real contact? Is it get back at your ex? If you're doing that, it's not a good idea. If it's to move on and eventually get back together, that's cool. If it's also for you to just find somebody new, that's cool as well. If you're acting nasty, then she still has power over you. And if you move on to the next relationship, she's still dominating your mind. You don't want that. Instead of being cold towards your ex, when she does reach out, be kind, be cool, but keep your boundaries. You know, you don't have to just open yourself up. Remember, she broke up with you. Also, don't break up the past. You know, think of this like a fresh start if you want that. Because every relationship has a different dynamic between the boyfriend and the girlfriend. So if the girlfriend breaks up with you, I don't know what went on between you guys. I don't know where you're at right now. And if she's reached out, you have a choice here. You can either get back together or you can just reject the opportunity to have a relationship again. But you don't have to be mean about it. You don't have to blame her for the experience of no contact. You don't have to be like, oh man, you put me through all this misery. I had to suffer and it was really hard, but I'm better. Now I'm getting back at you. No, don't do that. Just be cool about it and move forward. So if you randomly see a text message or a phone call out of nowhere from her or she randomly slides in your DM, keep your boundaries. That's very important. You don't have to open up to her, but don't be a jerk. Just be casual. Have a conversation and see where it goes. And remember, you're still in control. She just wants to see how you're doing. And maybe she does want to get back with you. And if that was your intent the whole time, why would you be mean? Why would you play hard to get? You got to this point of no contact and now she has broken that cycle. So that's what you wanted. Just get back together. It's really that simple. If you want that, go for it. But if you don't, you don't have to respond to her message. That's fine. Or you can just keep it casual and show her through your communication that you're not interested in that idea anymore. And that's fine as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thanks for sticking to the end with me. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go check out my other video where I talk about why men today are failing in relationships with women. Also, love to hear your thoughts on how you dealt with your ex-girlfriend when she reached out to you after no contact. And I'll see you in the next one.